Whoa. This is surprising. Oh, we have our tail. Reggie, please, the man. OB1 play. Yes, that's right. What's up? All right. OB1 play. everybody how are y'all doing <laughs> y'all miss me i didn't have any news yesterday i was busy you know what i'm saying and i was doing the platinum run and returnal i'm so close and platinum big returnal it's gonna happen today i don't know if i'll do it live on my gaming channel but even if i don't do it live i'll, I'll record a clip of it and upload it on twitter make sure you follow me on that twitter boy but give the stream a thumbs up let's get to the news items we have a couple of dope news items for this video. Let's get to it first. This is a surprise, sort of. But I told you this is what's gonna be happening. <laughs> Former or recent Xbox exclusive, the medium has been listed um, by the ESRB for the PlayStation 5, meaning a PlayStation 5 launch slash announcement is imminent. The same thing happened with another Xbox exclusive, launch exclusive. I think it was a Falconeer or something like that. It's going to happen. I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen with this Bethesda deal. Too much money on the table, bro. Too much money on the table. And <laughs> they want to recruit their money. Games, Starfield. All this, they're going to be announced at E3 coming to Xbox. Exclusive to Xbox or whatever. And then a few months later, they're going to be coming to the PS5. The, at the end of the day, it's a business. They want their money. And I'm telling you, Xbox gamers are being conditioned to just have their games included on Game Pass, which is good. That's Xbox's business model. They want you to subscribe to Game Pass. But it's going to hurt their sales as far as people just outright buying the game, it seems like. And so the medium, big Xbox exclusive launch at launch, now coming to the PlayStation 5. And the next news item, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrade. The addition or new title, I don't know what how to define this, <coughs> but it's launching this week. It's launching this week on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 exclusive. You better believe we got to be on this, bro. Bro, Final Fantasy VII was my game back in the day on the PlayStation 1. I, I beat, beat the remake on, on PlayStation 4. Dope game. So this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive Final Fantasy VII integrate. And a couple of news items with this. First, the file size. A huge file size. 81 gigabytes 81 gigabytes will be the size of um the game on the playstation 5 which is a lot playstation 5 consoles are already strapped with console storage space because there's no way to expand it sony needs to come up with the solution sooner rather than later but it's going to be 80 81 gigabytes for Final Fantasy Integrate and the controversy this week has been save data file transfer options for um coming for the PS5. If you have the PS4 game of Final Fantasy 7 remake, transfer your <coughs> file to the PlayStation 5. Um, Square Enix have come up with a file transfer tool that I think you have to first download the tool and then download the game. It's not a clean cut process where you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you're paying for the cloud, for cloud saves, I should just 
turn on this game or turn on Final Fantasy 7 on my PlayStation 5 and my save data should just transfer from the cloud. It shouldn't require any extra work. Sony got to sort this out. So the save tra data transfer process is a mess. I don't know how the save file uh, will integrate, get it, pun intended, integrate with the uh, this um, integrate remake. So interesting to see, but June 10th, right before Ratchet and Clank, you better believe we're gonna be on it. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank, first, a new trailer has dropped um, and the developers are just um, looking at the franchise evolution and looking at these old games. They aged pretty well. Now this is ripped apart, but Ratchet and Clank seems to have always pushed whatever hardware they're on. Look at this. This was in 2002. Um, have always pushed the hardware that they were on as far as good graphics and gameplay is concerned. The gameplay in the series have always been great. The one on the PlayStation 4 was phenomenal. But also, we got the file size for Ratchet & Clank, which is a lot more manageable. Only 33.6 gigabytes. So give or take 34 gigabytes for Ratchet & Clank which is pretty dope, pretty dope, considering how phenomenal this game looks. And Sony has been compression wizards when it comes to getting their first party games, the file sizes um, at an efficient rate for your console. So they know what they're doing with their hardware. Can't wait for this game right around the corner. Speaking of right around the corner, I'm right about to, I need to Platinum Returnal before Ratchet and Clank drops. I only have two more Xenoglyphs on the last stage to get, which are easy. The hardest thing were the Scout Logs. Xenoglyphs seem to pop up more um, frequently. So hopefully sometime today or t this week, we're gonna Platinum Returnal. Very confident that we're doing. It's RNG, random generated stages, so it could be my luck this week. The Zeno Glyphs that I need don't pop up, but they tend to pop up pre pre pretty frequently. So can't wait, can't wait. And we're gonna end this with some Nintendo Switch Pro news, bro. Switch Pro has been a no-go. Um, it was rumored that the Switch Pro would is gonna be revealed before E3. Um, uh, many were speculating, leaking that it was gonna reveal this past Thursday. It didn't happen. I still, still think it might happen um, next week. Interesting, we'll have to see what happens, but no Switch Pro news. That's the, that's what I wanted to say. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro.